I just want I just want more Nora, alright? That's really all I care about at this point. This gun hasn't changed much since I left. It's even bigger than now than it was, but the feeling is the same. Could I come back to this? No. We're going independent, like Nora said. Ray comes over immediately when she sees me get back to the counseling office. Hey, you're not in trouble or anything, are you? I just saw you being whisked away in a Skanda car toward headquarters. They didn't give me any details, which is kind of unusual. Ray is too perceptive for me to continue avoiding this conversation. Time to come clean. Yeah, about that. So I have something to tell you. I used to work here. I mean, at Skanda, as an engineer. I used to work on Eliza. I'm sorry for not saying it earlier, but... I'm here for research purposes. Oh, so that's why... Why what? I suspected something was going on with you, but I couldn't tell exactly what it was. I thought I might have seen a name like yours in our internal documentation at one point, but I didn't want to pry. If, if you've fallen on hard times, I understand. There's no shame in it. Everyone has to make ends meet now and then. We get plenty of people who come to Eliza proxy work because they're trying to get back on their feet after some kind of trouble. <laughs> That's not so far off, yeah. That's not so far off, yeah. I understand. Your secret safe with me. Dope. I love you, Ray. Should it be a secret? Shouldn't it be? The other proxies here might think you had an ulterior motive for being here. Spying on them or something. That's definitely not why I'm here. Also, I left Skanda quite a while ago. I know that, but they might still get the idea. Trust me, it's better not to give the other proxies here any reason to be suspicious. Fair. I'm sure your real reasons are good ones, whatever they might be. If there's anything I can do to help, you'll let me know, won't you? Hell yeah. Yeah, I will. I like you, Ray. I mean, I get it. I know someone who's an engineer for a food delivery app, and he drives for it sometimes, too. You want to see through the eyes of your users, don't you? It's amazing what you can catch by doing that. Um, it's something like that. But, like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to work on the Eliza program again. Wait, no? But that's your career. It was. I'm not even sure if I have a career anymore. Oh, hang on. I just thought of something. That means you worked with Rainer, right? Yes. Um, a little bit. For most of the time I was at Skanda, he wasn't anyone I spoke to, though. Too high up the chain, doing his executive stuff. He got more involved when we were starting to commercialize the technology, but I left not long after that. So, we only overlapped for a short time. But that's so cool, though! I can't believe you actually worked with Rainer Sai. Well, yeah, I did. I'm not sure it's that impressive. Ray lowers her gaze at me. I've worked for this company for three years. Do you think he knows my name? Do you think he's aware I exist? I worked on the very first Eliza deployment and managed three counseling centers today, and I'll bet you anything he has no idea who I am. Maybe he does. You never know. Evelyn, most people who work for big companies don't interact with the people at the top, ever. Allow yourself some pride. Y you know, I'll, I'll I'll try just because I want to get out of this conversation. I'll try. Seriously, I think that's amazing. At least I'll always think you're cool. Thank you, Ray. I like you. By the way, what are you up to tonight? Want to come over and help me bake cookies? Uh, maybe. Maybe. It'll be fun. I promise. <laughs> now I can't wait to get in the kitchen tonight. Ah, there's nothing like the smell of fresh baked treats. I was worried Ray would be mad at me for keeping a secret, but she wasn't at all. Yeah, no, she wants to be homies, which I want to be, but, like, let's think. I don't know if I'm doing anything with Nora. I don't know if Nora's going to hit me up, but, like, hey, you down to do something tonight, homie? Because if she does, yeah, I'm, I'm picking Nora over Ray every time. But if it's just Ray, then it's like, hell yeah, Ray, let's do some. If anything, she warmed up to me quite a bit. Oh. Oh. She's not trying to use me, is she? Get close to me so she can get close to Rainer? I don't want to think negatively about Ray because I like her vibes. I really do. But you're right. We told her the secret. She realized the connection between... The possible connection between Evelyn and Rainer. That's when she's like, Do you want to come over? We could bake cookies. It'll be fun. Please. Homies. Whereas I know Nora. Nora's just a down homie. Alright. 
So uh, just saying, I do still. I, I want to give Ray the chance for sure, but like, once again, if it comes down to picking between them, Nora every time. I don't really understand why though. It's hard to imagine there are anything. There's anything cool about what I used to do. Oh, excuse me. Erland. Evelyn, it was wonderful to meet you, and thank you for allowing me to contact you to ask additional questions. I'm not sure I said this in person, but I have to admit to being something of a fan of yours. Ever since I read your papers when I was in school, so I'm grateful for the opportunity to speak with you like this. Haha, <laughs> I know Eliza was named after this old computer program that pretended to be a therapist, but you mentioned it wasn't called that initially. I'd like to know, what did you call Eliza when you were working on it? Did it have a name? In the very early days, it wasn't a set thing. Each of us had a different sort of name we used. Soren called it the Digital Therapy Project. And we often refer to things by their components. The language Processing Unit. The Emotional Reassessing Reasoning Engine, so on. Now that I think about it, I did have my own name. I called it The Listener. Because that's what it was meant to do. Listen to people. The Listener. That's interesting. Thank you. I expect you to ask more technical questions. Signal stuff isn't enough on its own. I think that's the mistake my predecessors made. It's the details that, like this that really helped me wrap my brain around the system. If I understand the programmer, then I understand the program. Does that make sense? Yeah, I get it. Chief Engineer for Eliza, huh? I wonder how long he'll last. Not that it's any of my business now. Yes, it's great. Anything new to look at? Who? What? Where? Ray, article. This article came out and it turned out okay, but the emphasis on me is a little embarrassing. Local spark inside the latest tech revolution, Ray Bakari smiles as she recounts the litany of jobs she's worked over the course of her life. Line cook, truck driver, substitute teacher, theater manager, even a stint as a chicken coop builder for one summer. This might sound weird, but I truly believe we all, I believe all those jobs contribute in some way towards preparing me for what I'm doing now, but what is she doing? Blah, 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 Jesus Christ. It will never stop being weird to me how our little idea grew and grew and turned into this. Didn't even take that long. On some level, I always knew the therapy sessions went to a big server room somewhere. But it was something else to see in person. It reminded me how easy it is to forget what's going on behind the scenes when we interact with technology. Plant. Ray must work extra hard to make sure these plants stay healthy. She really likes to go the extra mile on things. She definitely does seem like that kind of person. Session time. Let's go. Welcome to Eliza. Oh, hey there. Hello, Mark. Dude looks like the fucking... Dude looks like fucking... What is his name? Big Al from Toy Story 2? If you just fucking slapped a wig on him? <laughs> Find any good toys today, Mark? Hello, Mark. Yeah, hello. Oh God, how are you today? <laughs> how are you today? Let, let's just get this over with. Okay, what brings you here today? Human resources. The HR department brings me here today. Oh, great. What do you have an anger issue or are you a pervert? Why do you say the HR department brings you here today? Because they're making me do this. Because apparently I have Anger management issues. Anger, gotcha. I sense that you're upset about this. Please tell me more. Oh, I'll tell you more. This is ridiculous. I was here before any of them. I was here since the beginning, okay? I mean, look at my badge. Skanda employee number 617. That's a three-digit number. I've been here for more than 25 years. Yeah, that was back when what you communicated was more important than your specific communication style. Before hurting a kid's feelings became a bigger no-no than running a viable business. Oh, you're one of these types, gotcha. Back then we had a single office building. Just one. At that size, you fail a product launch, there's no more company. We all had to put in 150, 200, 300% to keep our shit together. 
We were in the trenches, man. We were trenches, man. High overhead, artillery exploding everywhere, no fucking air support. Did it suck? Yeah. Yeah, it did. But you know what? We shipped some great fucking products. We built this company into what it is today. An invented technology a whole world uses now. Governments, multinationals... I love over on the left. Sentiment analyzers. Fucking. Sentiment analyzer. Suck. Sentiment analyzer. Fucking. <laughs> My... <laughs> we have shit exploding fucking suck fucking. Hell yeah. <laughs> but now, now we're big and slow, complacent. Resting on our laurels while our competitors run circles around us. If our new hires don't understand the urgency of that, I need to make them understand, okay? We're history unless we get that drive back. Why do you need to make them understand? Well, I don't know if you noticed, but young people are really pissy and entitled these days. Of course they are. Yeah, we're they're entitled. Yeah, that's the problem. They're entitled. We recruit from top 20 computer science programs. These kids have been wined and dined all through their higher education. Sure. Every one of our competitors wants to hire them, so they get used to that. Now they all want to know what Skanda can do for them, not the other way around. Why would we want these conceited, over-celebrated whelps on our team? I'll never understand the logic there. Now, now, Mark, you have to be nice to the new hire so they won't like it here. Okay, so what, I'm just supposed to pretend everyone's work is great, even if it's a pile of stinking garbage? I'm sorry, but if I see shit, I'm going to say that is shit. <laughs> Tiptoeing around everyone's Jesus feelings all the time. Christ. That's how you end up with shitty products. That's how this company winds up dead, okay? We're fighting for our lives every day here. We <laughs> shit, take shit, shitty, granted. dead. <laughs> Someone needs to tell them that this isn't summer camp. This isn't fucking Coachella. Either you do the work and provide something of value to this company, or you get the hell out of here. Those are my rules. Uh-huh. Here's a question mark. Here's a question mark. A <laughs> question mark. <laughs> if you were able to have something you wanted. If you were able to have something you wanted right now, what would you choose? Big old titties. I would choose to not waste my time here and get back to work. Believe it or not, I have important things to do. You know, things that dramatically affect this company's bottom line. Instead, I'm stuck here talking to this dipshit chatbot. Honestly, I don't even know why this division exists. I mean, what's the end game here? This company has lost its mind, you know that? We used to be unstoppable, man. We used to, we used to build real software. Iron-clad software. Swift mail. All your corporate communications, <laughs> Swift put mail. it all in there. It's fast, it's robust, it works. Boom. Info vault. Index and search all your records. Any information you want. Easy. Done. But this, this, what? The, this, this fucking psychotherapy app thing. What's the fucking point? What does it actually do for anybody? I've heard through the grapevine that uh, results are inconclusive so far. <laughs> Sentiment analyzer. Unstoppable fucking fucking. Oh. You know what they call a remedy that uh, maybe doesn't work? Snake oil. Believe me, if I was the group program manager here, I would have killed it years ago. Pointless. I mean, I have no fucking idea why it survived. Well, um, yeah, maybe I do. I heard a rumor that Rainer liked this chick on the team. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the level of decision making we've sunk to here. But Mark, we're so successful. We dominate the market. Yeah, we do. And that's exactly why we should be worried. Just when you think you've won and you start to relax, that's when the wolves come and tear you limb from limb. I don't like you. You can make me take these fucking anger management classes, but that's not going to save this company. Costs are up. Revenue is flat. Our cloud business is losing competitiveness. We're being outwitted, outplayed on every level, man. And we're just, we're just letting them do it to us. We're too busy wasting time on shit like how I wasn't nice enough to the new hires. Go on. Why do you think the new hires felt this way about you? What? Why do they feel that way? Look, things, they get heated. That's the way it is. You think the Allies had time to make sure every soldier's feelings weren't hurt before they stormed the beaches at Normandy? Sir, you work in tech. <laughs> you work in tech. 
You're not a fucking World War II soldier. You work in tech. <laughs> Large difference, my guy. You're a fucking... Uh, authority. You have an authoritative position in a tech company. You're not a goddamn drill sergeant. And shit, don't tell me that this is not a war. Because that's exactly what this is. Sir, I think you're in the wrong line of work. <laughs> This, 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 I think you were trying to go to the, to the army recruiter, but you, you like went past the door and ended up at a fucking IT department. I don't know, but, uh, I, th I think you're in the long run of, line of work, my guy. My responsibility is to make sure we get great products out the door on spec on time. And I happen to be very good at that. But if you want to start interfering with my ability to do my job, then we're going to have a problem. Okay. What do you think would make things better for you? I mean, you know, you know what? Nothing. I'm probably going to hang it up pretty soon anyway. Go ahead, record that with all your cameras and shit. I don't care anymore. Wouldn't be surprised if Rainer's watching me right now. Rainer, you son of a bitch. You owe me a lot. <laughs> you son me, of a bitch. like me, we built this company while you sat up there in your star chamber, drinking tea and lording it over us. Yeah, I don't think I don't remember that blank look you gave me at the holiday party. Like, who is this guy? Does he even matter? What does he do? Too busy appreciating ancient pottery to remember one of your oldest and most loyal battalion commanders. Sir, again, with the, with the military analogies, I think you're in the long line of work. <laughs> one of the humble, everyday guys who made you a fucking billionaire. What a waste of time. So, are we going to wrap this up? Mark, I'm going to suggest you try a program called Lakeside Fishing. Who doesn't love some good lakeside fishing? He's like, fuck your goddamn fucking programs. It may help you take your mind off things. Let me hear it. Let me hear you say, fuck your fucking program. What are you kidding? Are you kidding me? No, I'm not going to do that. I got to get back to work. You can find it inside the Skanda Wellness app on your phone. Someone around here at some point needs to do some fucking work. <laughs> Let's just Try keep giving him the spiel. 15 minutes each day, in the morning or evening. We hope to see you back soon, Mark. <laughs> He's like, I hope I don't end up back here. You really think this piece of shit's gonna be the next big thing, huh? Thank you for speaking with Eliza, your personal counseling partner. Fuck off, dick. Bye. Goodbye. Yeah, good. Okay, goodbye. Fuck me. <laughs> the way she said that then too. Goodbye. <laughs> Hell yeah. Skanda old guard. Attitudes might be changing now, but the history is there. Sometimes the past is hard to escape. chair. I didn't recognize his face or name, though. He must be part of a different division than the one I was in. Glad I never had to work with him. Yeah, no shit. Whoever decorated this room must have picked a soft light with the idea it would help clients feel calm. Not sure it's working. <laughs> Time for our next client already. What do we got? Who's next? Who's next? You're new. Herman Gunawan. Hello, Herman. Hello, Harman. Harman. You found the place okay? Yeah, yeah, no, no trouble at all. That is not the voice I was expecting out of that face. <laughs> I legit thought that was just a woman with a short haircut. <laughs> not gonna lie. It's been nice since the fog cleared this morning, hasn't it? Sure. We, we can dispense with the chit-chat. I'm, I'm ready to begin. Okay. What brings you here today? At first, let me note that I'm a graduate student at the University of Washington. Uh, I'm a PhD candidate in literature, uh, English literature. 
The crux of the matter I've come here to discuss is that I've been having something of a difficult time with one of the other students currently in the program. Before I get to the specifics, let me just first establish something that- Oh my god, I fucking hate you already. One thing I know about myself is that I've always had a certain fear of uh, being left out. Yeah, okay. It, it's a very general feeling and one that's difficult to ascribe to any specific cause in my childhood or my parents, etc. Okay. Whatever the case, it, it might be beneficial to the remedial process to figure out where this feeling originated from. Sure. Perhaps you might uh, explore that in this or, or a future counseling session. Sure. I'm prepared to listen to any topic you'd like to discuss. It's not even that I've been left out, exactly. If I try to think back in my life, I know that I've been afforded a certain share of privilege. Uh-huh. But I'm still afflicted with this bothersome notion that I've missed out on friendships, relationships, other opportunities. Uh-huh. This, this is all just a bit of a background to help you understand my current situation with regard to another student in my program. Yes. I hope you're following all this. I, I realize now I have no idea how much intelligence you actually possess as a computerized system. I'm following you. Please continue. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. So, her name is Sylvia. Yes. And her writing is incredible. Everything she writes, it's brilliant. She's perceptive, insightful, mordantly funny. J just some of the best writing I've read from anyone, anyone at all. And she's a grad student, like me, in the same program. Yes. Though we have different advisors, so it's not so simple to find... I, I to get it, I get it. You want to make a move on this lady, but you don't know how. I don't know why you turned to an app for that, but alright. She's also quite attractive on a physical level, so mm, that adds another dimension of complexity to the proceedings. I mean, from the way you talk, I can already understand why she doesn't want to talk to you, but anyway, go on. Then there's her friend group, which is... Ugh, very well established. She's with them every day, smiling, laughing. So that further complicates things, since I'm not sure how to approach the group and steer things so that I can engage in a direct conversation with her. I wish I had the bullheaded confidence it would take to simply approach her, but you see, I'm, I don't. Mm -hmm. Just listen to me talk. I feel like a schoolboy with my heart to flutter. I didn't think this kind of thing lasted into one's adulthood, but I suppose I know now that it does. It sounds like you might be anxious about this. Is it a matter of anxiety? I, I don't know what I can do, other than muster up the courage somehow. Mm -hmm. I just need to tell her very simply that I admire her. Uh, I'd start off a bit slower. I, I, I'd say like first, like at least hit her with a hello. At the very least. Maybe some introductions. Don't just jump right into a, I admire you. She's such a good writer. Well, I don't expect you to understand it, of course, but well, she is. She, she really is. Okay. Okay, Harman. I want you to imagine things going well. What does that look like? Hmm. Ideally, we'd start talking, have a wonderful conversation, spend more and more time together, support each other's work, fall in love, have a lot of sex, spend the rest of our <laughs> lives in the warmth of each other's genius. Yeah, he, he's just mad horny, I figured. I realize that may be something of a fanciful notion at this stage. Really, the most I can hope for is to be able to meet her in an open social setting, a party or something. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's fine. You happen to meet her at a, at a party, that's great. Walk up, say hi. My name's Herman. Quite the name you got there, buddy. Yo, know, try, try to go from there. Definitely don't open with I admire you, though. That's definitely the wrong way to go about it. You'll likely ask me why I simply couldn't create such a situation, contrive one, but uh, that seems a little too aggressive for me, and also, uh, I'm also concerned about what you might think of me, as a person. Uh, you're, you're, you're kind of, like, annoying, not gonna lie. She might immediately categorize me as a friend, and while I'm sufficiently with the times to know I would have to accept that, I can't say that I wouldn't be disappointed with such an outcome. You're worried about being friend-zoned. You can say it in layman's terms. No one will judge you. Is the risk of rejection enough to stop me from giving it a try? Uh, this is what confounds me. But nah, it's up to you time. to decide, my guy. Why do you believe you are worried about being categorized as a friend? Well, because... Because it's not what I want. <laughs> because it feeds into this image I have of myself as, as something of an undesirable fellow. Where did you get that idea? I've always been a bit of a, you know, a bit of a non-entity as far as sexual magnetism goes. Yeah, you're just horny. 
I'm not saying I deserve or even want to be some kind of Casanova, but... You're horny. Most people would like to feel at least somewhat attractive, right? That they can be desired, that, that they're worth desiring. Well, I, I very much doubt you would take any of this to heart. You are a computer program, after all. There's no way your makers would allow you to come to that kind of knowledge, would they? If they did, society might be threatened. Okay, Harman, I have some recommendations for you. Pornhub. Actually, no, isn't Pornhub, like, under a lot of... Uh, X videos, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> First. First, I'm going to suggest a set of relaxation and centering exercises for you to do. You'll find them in the Skanda Wellness app on your phone. They may be able to help with your nervousness. Second, I recommend asking your doctor or psychiatrist about Lytosinol 2. Based on my analysis, this medication might help you feel better. Might. Hmm. Yeah, uh, I believe I've heard of that. A beta blocker, is it not? Yeah. Well, maybe, maybe I could take a couple before I try approaching Sylvia. Oh, uh, maybe. Who knows? You will get a reminder to check in with us in a few weeks. Sure. Sure. Uh, I have to go. Uh, I'll see you later. Uh, bye. Yeah, bye bye I don't like that guy. Goodbye. Alrighty. Two, I'll go fuck yourself. It, wait. He only gave me two stars, but he left me a tip. What kind of message are you trying to send here, Harriman? I'm confused. You did a below average. You had a below average performance. Here's a little extra. Like what? I wasn't sure the exact reason, but I decided to skip Ray's invitation to help bake cookies. Hell yeah. She gave me directions to a house in Wallingford. First, I was astonished by its size. Then I remembered her saying something about living com communally with several roommates. That sounds like it could be nice, assuming everyone got along okay. They didn't. No. I was entered the house, can you hear Ray speaking with someone? It's like, fuck you, no fuck. <laughs>